Technology is advancing at a fast rate thanks to the internet and the booming tech world. There are always new technologies coming out that will change our daily lives, how we work, and society overall. In this video, we're going to look at 10 new technologies that are leading this change and see how they might transform the world. Number one, serverless computing. The first emerging technology on our list is serverless computing. Serverless doesn't mean there are no servers involved. Instead, it's a modern way to use servers more efficiently and effectively. It allows you to use computing resources like servers for your applications, but unlike traditional computing. In a traditional setup, if you build an app or a website, you'd need a server to host it. You'd have to estimate how much traffic your app might get and then buy or rent enough server capacity to handle it. If you guess too much, you waste money on unused resources. Guess too little, and your app crashes when too many people try to use it at once. Serverless computing changes this by automatically adjusting the amount of computing power you have to the level of demand for your application at any given moment. This method is cost-effective. If nobody's using your app, you don't use any server resources, and you don't pay anything. When someone starts using your app, the serverless platform quickly allocates the right amount of resources to handle the demand. This can save a lot of money, especially for apps with variable traffic. Number two, quantum computing. Next comes quantum computing. It's a new kind of computing that doesn't just follow the regular rules. Instead, it uses the special tricks of quantum physics to solve problems super quickly, some of which are too tough for even the biggest and fastest computers we have today. Quantum computers are different because they can do many calculations at once. It's like if you were trying to find a needle in a haystack, and instead of searching one hay bale at a time, you could search all of them simultaneously. This is possible because of two quantum physics concepts, superposition and entanglement. Think of superposition as being able to be in two places at once, and entanglement as a spooky way of linking information together which can be instantly shared, no matter how far apart. We're not at the point where you can have a quantum computer on your desk or in your pocket. The promise of quantum computing is huge. It could transform how we handle vast amounts of data, making it easier to work with and understand. It could speed up how we develop new medicines or materials by letting us simulate things much faster than we can now. And it could help us solve complex problems, like understanding languages in a way that computers currently struggle with. Number three, biotechnology and gene editing. Imagine having the ability to tweak the very blueprint of life, allowing you to make plants grow in harsh conditions, cure once incurable diseases, and tailor medical treatments to suit each individual perfectly. This is the reality promised by biotechnology and gene editing technologies. In healthcare, biotechnology is a custom-made suit instead of a one-size-fits-all outfit. It means doctors can look at your unique genetic makeup and come up with treatments designed just for you. This not only makes the treatments more effective, but also reduces the chances of side effects. Now, add gene editing into the mix, specifically techniques like CRISPR-Cas9, and you've got a precise tool that can tweak genes with precision. Faulty genes causing diseases? CRISPR can potentially fix them, offering hope for curing genetic conditions that were once thought to be lifelong battles. Turning to agriculture, biotechnology, and gene editing allow us to create plants that can withstand diseases, survive droughts, and grow in poor soil conditions. This means we can produce more food, more reliably, helping to secure food supplies for a growing global population. And it's not just about quantity, it's also about quality. Gene editing can help create crops that contain more nutrients, fighting malnutrition, and making our food healthier. Number four, nanotechnology. The fourth emerging tech is nanotechnology. In healthcare, nanotechnology is set to change how we detect, treat, and prevent diseases. Imagine tiny particles, so small they can navigate our bloodstream, programmed to hunt down and treat diseased cells without harming the healthy ones around them. This means treatments for diseases like cancer could become far more effective and with fewer side effects, as drugs are delivered precisely where they're needed. It could also lead to breakthroughs in diagnostics. Tiny sensors, far more sensitive than anything we have today, could detect diseases at their earliest stages when they're much easier to treat. This will save lives by giving treatments the best chance to work. When it comes to electronics and computing, 
nanotechnology is pushing the boundaries of what's possible. By building transistors and other components at the nanoscale, we can pack more power into smaller devices. This means computers, smartphones, and other gadgets can be faster, more efficient, and capable of doing more than ever before. Number five, artificial womb technology. Artificial womb technology is a medical device being tested to help very early born babies grow outside their mother's womb. In this device, the baby is placed in a see-through bag filled with fluid, similar to what they'd experience inside the womb. The goal is for these tiny babies to spend a few more weeks growing in this device after they're born. This way, when they leave the device, they have a better chance of survival and face fewer health problems with the usual care they receive. One of the biggest problems for the survival of very early born babies is the development of their lungs. Instead of breathing air, these babies would be in an artificial womb where their lungs are filled with a special fluid made in a lab. This fluid is a lot like the natural fluid they'd be surrounded by before birth. This setup helps them develop as if they were still inside the mother's womb. The most advanced version of this technology is almost ready for testing with humans. Number six, living in a virtual world. The next big thing in tech is the metaverse, a concept set to change how we live, learn, work, and take care of our health. In entertainment and media, VR takes you into completely digital worlds where you can explore new places, meet characters, and go on adventures all from your living room. AR, on the other hand, mixes digital things into the real world around you. It's like seeing a dinosaur walk through your living room or having a map projected onto the road as you drive. Both VR and AR make games, movies, and stories way more engaging and interactive. In healthcare, surgeons can use VR to plan complex operations before making a single cut, making surgery safer and more precise. AR can show important information right in a surgeon's vision during an operation, so they don't have to look away. This tech opens up new possibilities for how we interact with the world around us and with each other. Number seven, space tech and interplanetary travel. Space tech and traveling to other planets are exciting new areas to keep an eye on. In our exploration beyond Earth, we're finding new chances for learning, creating new technology, and thinking about the future of people everywhere. Space tech is leading the way in this adventure, helping us learn more about space and leading to new inventions that can also help us on Earth. For example, new satellite tech can watch over changes in Earth's climate, forests, and natural disasters. This is important for protecting the environment and helping us live in a more eco-friendly way. One of the biggest things space tech can do is make it possible for people to live on other planets. Even though it's still early days, the idea of building homes on the moon, Mars, or other places in space is getting more realistic. This could be very important for keeping humans safe if something really bad happened on Earth. Number eight, 6G. Moving on to number eight, emerging tech. 6G is the upcoming evolution in wireless communication. 6G is the next big step in mobile technology, being created right now to make our phones and devices communicate faster over the internet. It's the upgrade coming after 5G and is expected to be way faster. A 6G network works by using brand new parts of the airwaves that haven't been used before and smart technology like AI to allow for super quick and instant communication, much faster than what we can do with 5G. 6G is going to introduce some new features to make wireless communication even better for devices by incorporating smart technology like machine learning and artificial intelligence. This won't just help people with their smartphones and mobile internet, it's also going to boost new tech like smart cities, self-driving cars, and virtual and augmented reality experiences. Right now, 6G is still being worked on and hasn't been launched yet. Number nine, renewable energy technologies. Shifting our focus to the number nine emerging tech, renewable energy technologies. People all over the world are realizing how important it is to deal with climate change and start using sustainable ways of living. Renewable energy is becoming a key player. Renewable energy like sunlight, wind, and water power is great because it doesn't release harmful gases into the air like oil or coal does. When we switch to these clean energy sources, we can cut down on the harmful effects our energy use has on the planet. One exciting development in this area is better battery technology. Batteries that can store energy are important for making renewable energy more useful. Since the sun doesn't always shine and the wind doesn't always blow, Having good ways to store energy means we can still have electricity anytime we need it. 
making our energy supply more stable and reliable. Number 10, spatial computing. Finally, we have spatial computing. Spatial computing is all about how computers can understand and use 3D information from the world around us. It involves the ways we can capture, process, and use this data to interact with digital environments realistically. Spatial computing lets computers interact with virtual objects in a way that's similar to how we interact with real objects around us. We see the world in 3D and make sense of where things are to do tasks. Like when we pour tea into a cup, we watch the cup, figure out when it's full and then stop pouring. Spatial computing enables computers to do this too by using sensors and devices that can detect and understand the space and objects and then take action just like we do. Apple's new device, the Vision Pro, uses this technology to create a three-dimensional interface. This makes it seem like the digital content you're looking at, like movies or your social media, is right there in the room with you instead of just being on your phone or tablet screen. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.